Hey guys, what's up? My name's Danny, aka Thriftfish. I'm an online fashion reseller, so I sell secondhand fashion on Poshmark and eBay as my full time job. And it's Saturday, which is a weird day for me to be doing a video, but it's just like any other sip and ship video, it's just not on a Friday, it's on a Saturday. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but what happens here is I'm gonna pack up my orders from the last couple days. So it's a little bit of a what sold, a little bit of a ship with me, and also just a casual reselling chat. Uh, talk about the week, talk about reselling, what's going on. This week, uh, I will be highlighting some of my April sales since we're in a new month of May, 2021. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. I gotta go get my caffeinated beverage. Hold on. We're doing light caffeine today. This is my drink of choice today. Matcha tea lemonade. Yum, okay. <laughs> if you don't like the taste of grass, you probably won't like it, but. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm gonna pack up one of my favorite sales first from Poshmark, there are both Poshmark and eBay seal sales mixed in here, but this one was on Poshmark. And it is a pair of pants that I picked up pretty recently. They are new with tags, Bryn Walker, linen, red, wide leg. Um, I think the tag calls them, yeah, flood pants, which is a term I haven't heard in quite a while but um, these sold on Poshmark for $38. So pretty good deal. I did do a little back and forth with this buyer, but ultimately I'm happy with that sale price. I may run out of packing paper. So the reason this video is appearing on a Saturday rather than a Friday is because on Thursday, I got my second COVID vaccine, Pfizer dose. Uh, and so I did experience a couple side effects um, starting Thursday night into Friday, started getting a little achy. Um, and basically just all yesterday, I was pretty tired. And if I tried to do anything too involved, I started to get achy again. Um, so I had kind of figured that this wasn't going to work for yesterday. So, but I still wanted to do this video. I had a great sales week, so I wanted to do this video since I didn't get to do one last week, uh, due to lack of sales or lack of enough sales for a video at least. So, uh, but yeah, I'm back. I'm just on a Saturday. So, and I am feeling better, you know, still pretty, like, I don't have a hundred percent energy, but definitely feeling much better. Okay, I'm doing things a little opposite. I have the non-packed items in my Hulkin bag, and then I'm going to stack the packed items over here and then be able to organize them back into the bag at the end. I don't know. I just need something to put these in. Okay, next up. Also, I believe a Poshmark sale. This is a Bowden skirt. I also picked this one up fairly recently. It sold via offer yesterday, I believe. Super cute. Little ribbon trim, pencil skirt. Getting back into office-y type vibes. <laughs> office-y type vibes. And it sold for 28. And I am happy with that. All right, as I mentioned earlier, I am going to go over some of my April sales stats with you. Um, I kind of do these stats every month on a sip and ship. So if you're new here, um, I go over my top brands, categories, subcategories, and highest selling items or high pr highest price sales. This is just on Poshmark because I'm easily able to grab that information from the sales report. Uh, I could probably grab that information from eBay as well, but I don't. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my top five brands for the month of April. 
And these are not gonna be a surprise, people. These are consistent. If you have been watching these videos, you could probably guess what my top five brands are. So the starting with a tie at seven pieces each, you have Free People and Athleta. Oh no, before that, sorry, I had Lululemon at six. So actually that's the first one to go over. So six pieces of Lululemon, seven pieces each of Free People and Athleta. Then we go to eight Madewell pieces and nine J Crew pieces. Those are my brands, people. Uh, those are the bread and butter. Those are the things I can find and sell the most and quickly, and maybe not for the highest priced, but for a solid price if I'm finding the right pieces. So, uh, you know, newer styles, more substantial pieces like jeans, chunky sweaters, shoes, that kind of thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next sale, which is a pair of Able leggings. I tried these, I was kind of experimenting with this brand. I had never heard of it, but it looked cool. It turns out it's um, from the United Kingdom. It's a UK brand. So there is the legging bright red, the logos spell out around the waistband. So Able and these sold for 27 on Poshmark. So not crazy high, but also not bad. Comps look to be kind of hit or miss, so I'm happy with this sale. I think a friend of mine was asking why I would use this box over a Tyvek. I actually like specifically really like these for leggings because they just fit like perfectly. See, just so easy. Okay, throw the card in. I don't order more cards. Got my Barefoot Dreams card again on. Cozy, cozy. But activewear still selling, although it looks like loungewear is kind of dying out a little bit overall. We'll see. Next up, Madewell. Oh, these are like a cover up pant. Also sold on Poshmark for $20. I think that was an offer and I went ahead and accepted it. These are just a pair of like lightweight. I am 100% cotton. They're called like the shore walk pants. So they are like kind of like a swim cover up pant from Madewell. Super cute. I don't feel like I often see cover up pants. It's usually dresses or like, like a wrap or something. I did send out a ton of offers yesterday on Poshmark since I was not really able to do a whole lot. I wanted to still be making sales and I did make like 12 sales yesterday. So it worked. <laughs> um, I've been semi consistently listing. I, you know, there's a couple days here and there where it doesn't happen, but um, for the most part, Listing has been consistent and sales have been semi-consistent. So that's all I can ask for. Um, here's a pair of Livy. I'll just do these and then I'll go over the next uh, sale stat. <laughs> these are a pair of Livy Active, uh, which is Lane Bryant's activewear line. Pair of like bright blue purple leggings. Uh, they sold on Poshmark for 16 yesterday. So, um, I'm not mad at that. I think I got these half price at Goodwill because um, these do sell quite well, but maybe not always for the highest price. I started selling Livy Active last summer during quarantine. I was getting this brand a lot donated to me from, um, from local people who <laughs> donated to me and found that it sold quite well. So if I can find it for a good price, I will sell it and list, or I will buy it and list it. Okay. Let's review my top categories for, or top selling categories for April. Uh, starting with jeans, I sold 10 pairs of jeans in April. Moving on to dresses, I sold 22 dresses. Next up, I sold 30 pairs of shoes. So that's crazy. That's like a pair of shoes a day. Uh, and I sold 40 tops. 
So tops are always pretty ubiquitous. And I sold 53 pairs of pants and or jumpsuits, rompers, leggings, sweatpants, what have you. Business pants. And no, that was it, yes. So pants and jumpsuits were my number one. Uh, shoes, pants, tops, dresses, those always tend to be at the top for me. Um, jeans coming in still makes sense. Jeans are pretty uh, standard, but it really does get more interesting once we break it down into the subcategories. I'll pack up another sale and then I will get to that. Next up is another Madewell piece, but it is Broadway and Broom, which is, I don't know, do they still even make Broadway and Broom? They usually do silk pieces. So here's this little pair of silk green shorts from Broadway and Broom, size four, super cute. These are going to a return buyer of mine who is absolutely wonderful and has great taste. <laughs> These sold for 18 on Poshmark and I think that was what they were listed for. Uh, next up, we have a pair of Everlane pants. These were also marked down in my, I said I was gonna go over my subcategories, didn't I? Oh well, <laughs> we'll go over these quick. I have a lot of sales to pack up, so bear with me. Um, Everlane pants, side zip, had marked these down in my closet. I have like a little, they're just coloration somewhere. So I don't know where, but there is somewhere. So I marked these down, um, but they're still a definitely good pair of Everlane pants, size six. Yeah, they're the zip side pants, trouser thing. Yeah, yeah, they sold for 18. So they were also marked down to that price and they sold at that price, which honestly might've been a little low, but oh well. They were sitting for a long time. Dunzo. Okay, now I will tell you about my Top selling cat subcategories for April, and here they are. So this is where it starts to get interesting because you can kind of see a transition from cozy, like lounge clothes to going out everyday normal clothes. So let's start with, um, there's some ties here. So at seven items each, I sold it was skinny, I think it was either, I think it was like skinny jeans probably, or skinny pants of some sort. And then seven tank tops. So we're seeing tank tops, we're transitioning into summer, warmer months. So those are popping up now. Next up at nine each, I sold nine sweatshirts. So still saying somewhere in that athleisure loungewear area. Uh, but I also sold nine pairs of sandals. So again, moving into the warmer months, we're seeing sandals come up as a top subcategory. Next up was 10 blouses. So again, that's kind of a clue that we're going back to wearing something called a blouse <laughs> out around uh, something pretty, something nice for spring, summer. Um, and then I sold 13 pairs of leggings, which uh, leggings have definitely been a top subcategory for me uh, in past months. So we're still, again, seeing still some idea of comfortable wear it around the house with a little bit of transition into warmer months and doing things. Uh, so I thought that was interesting because that's differ different from the past couple of months that I've been doing these videos. Uh, and I will next go over my top highest sales in April, but I'm gonna pack up a couple more things first. First being another one of these, The Shirt by Rochelle Barons. I think this one went on Poshmark, the other two I've sold went on eBay, but there's a Poshmark sale, The Shirt. This one is silk and it is snake print, so very pretty. And it's sold on Poshmark for 22. So less than it was selling for on eBay, which was around 29. <clears throat> but I was ready to go ahead and let it go because the rest of them that I picked up seemed to be sitting. Yeah, alrighty. We're getting down to it. It's not taking as long as I thought it might. 
Lily Pulitzer. This one I just listed. Um, it is this, and I, was, I wasn't sure if it would sell quickly because it's not like a crazy Lily print or anything. Uh, it's just a Lily Pulitzer Luxe Letic top. So a really comfy, like long, soft tunic top from Lily Pulitzer. But I figured somebody wants her loungewear. If they, you know, if somebody likes Lily Pulitzer, they probably like most of what she makes. So, or what that line makes. Um, and it sold on Poshmark for 26. We'll take it for a fast sale. Size XXL too, so. Good size. Okay. Okay, we'll do one more before I dive into my top high sales and the light is leaving me. I'm very overcast today and I decided not to use my ring light. Okay, this is... <laughs> This one was another one that I debated on uh, the price, but again, it had been sitting in my closet, so I'm a little sad because I do like this brand. Um, it's Kit and Ace, and it's like a brush. It's super soft inside, and it's just a little like asymmetrical dress. It sold on Poshmark for 22. I just listed another Kit and Ace piece in my closet. It's just a t-shirt, um, so hopefully that one does well. But we shall see. I've sold a jacket that was Kitten Ace and that one did really well. So it might just come down to what the piece is. Is that help? Is that better? Is that worse? Okay, I think that might help. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> it's getting really dark. Top sales in. April of 2021. Let's start at the top. At number five, starting at a $50 sale, we have a pair of APL Athletic Propulsion Labs sneakers. This was on my most recent Bolo video, if you have not checked that out yet. A pair of really cute sneakers sold for 50 on Poshmark. Uh, next up at 52, I think maybe full price or no, I think this did go for an offer, was an Everlane Italian Go Weave dress. So I was very surprised actually that it sold for 52, uh, but very happy with that. <laughs> Next up was a Lululemon down vest. I think it's like the down for it all vest. Uh, this was a great find. I was very excited for it. It sold for $57. I think I paid up a little bit for it, but it was definitely worth it. Next up, another kind of surprise for me, a Rails dress sold for $60. Rails dresses are actually doing incredibly well for me. I don't find them a lot, but the ones that I do find sell great, so much better than just their plain button downs. And the top sale of April 2021 was the Patagonia Duete uh, parka that I got out of, I think, I don't know if that's how you say the style name, but it was a parka a down parka with a hood that I got in my thread up 100 pound mixed clothing lot. So that was really cool that that sold for 100. Um, it was a great piece. So great way to close that out. But let's go ahead and pack up the rest of these orders. Ooh, okay. J. Crew. This is a sweater. And again, another one that had been sitting for a little while. So it ended up selling, I think for 20, if I'm looking at the right piece. Yes, on eBay, it sold for 20 on eBay. So mystery solved. I was like, what am I looking at? Is a newer tag, size extra small, it's very soft. A lot of um, lower $20 sales. But again, I am just trying to kind of keep the sales coming in after a week of less work than usual, I'd say. I also had a friend who was visiting from Texas. Um, I haven't seen him in several years and he's a very good friend. So I ended up spending some time with him, staying up late, not being used to that. <laughs> uh, luckily he's been fully vaccinated for a couple months now. So we were able to have a nice time together. Um, but yeah, just kind of a distracted week. So just keeping the sales coming in was good for me. I've been saving some really good boxes for eBay. <laughs> that sounds silly, but it's true. Oh wait, no. I have mailers. I got my eBay mailers. Ooh, my 
stack's getting bigger. Okay. This one was awesome. This was a really cool eBay sale. It seems like all my eBay sales are kind of stacked together. Maybe. <laughs> um, this one had been sitting for a little while, but I really wanted to kind of hold out on it. I don't usually pick up Ann Taylor, but this is definitely one of the most fun Ann Taylor pieces I've ever seen. Ann Taylor, size 10, this totally like metallic pleated skirt dress. I just love it. And I am happy that it sold on eBay for $30, which that's pretty good for Ann Taylor, so. <laughs> Okay, what's next? All Saints. Um, this one I sourced off of Poshmark in a bundle. Some kind of either closet closing or name your price kind of sale. Um, is this silk or just some sort of chiffon? It's got crazy layers. Yeah, it's uh, some of it is silk, some of it's polyester, but you know still silk. So it's black on the front. It's got this color block in the back. Very pretty. Sold <laughs> for $30 on Poshmark. Took me a while to actually photograph it because I couldn't figure out the layers. <laughs> but we got it. We got it. All right, we've made it down to shoes and one bag, starting with a pair of J Slide shoes. These are really cute. And these sold on eBay for 28, um, which is great considering they've been in my closet for a long time, even though I think they're really stinking cute. So it's kind of like a suede perforated espadrille lace up. I don't know, but I am happy that they are going out now. And this is where I'm excited. So I've been collecting shoe sized boxes. So I still have not received any shoe boxes from USPS. I think there's a shortage. Okay, I'm gonna reuse packaging and this is great because it gives me a chance to use my stickers that I also got from eBay. I'm also gonna use these stickers for Poshmark. I'm just gonna cut off the part that says eBay. I did it. It's done. Okay. All right. We have just a couple more. We're going to do this Badgley Mishka bag that's going out for eBay. Um, it really has just a little bit of wear or some markings on the front, but overall it's still in pretty good condition. It's super soft leather. Um, yeah, the inside is pretty good too. Badgley Mishka. And that sold for 35 on eBay. All right, uh, that one is done. So we just have three pairs of shoes left. We're gonna save my favorite for last. I had uh, sold one of my favorite pairs of shoes that I found in a long time. But first, let's take a look at these cutie saludos. Definitely good in time for some summer fun. Uh, these sold on Poshmark for 18, which I think I had marked them down to. I feel like no matter how neat I try to stay while I'm shipping, it just doesn't work. Okay, you can always resort to the paper bags from groceries. It's getting wild over here. We're improvising. These are crazy soft. These are Coolabura by Ugg. There you go. Super soft crisscross slide sandal slipper things. Those sold on, wait, what? eBay for $30, which I was very happy with. Okay, and now I gotta use another box here. Will they fit in this one or not? No. We'll make it work. Okay. Two different kinds. 
tons of stickers too. Last pair I'm very excited about. I even posted about them on my Instagram. Is this pair of absolutely gorgeous Leffler Randall booties. They are croc embossed leather brown with, yeah, I guess they're called Western booties. The heel is even very cool, just the shape of it. They sold for $80 on Poshmark. I did have them up for over a hundred, but I sent some deep offers, so they sold and I'm not mad. Last sale for now, uh, hoping that you all are having a nice weekend or week or whenever. Thank you again for joining, even on a Saturday or whatever day you're watching. Uh, I always appreciate it. If you are not subscribed, click the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, it all helps. And I appreciate you watching, commenting, whatever you can do. Thanks so much and I'll see you again real soon.